Hello dear students, hope you are doing good. Welcome to YouTube channel Learn with Gizla. In this video, we shall be taking yet another important question related to compound interest. So let's start with the question. A man invested rupees 1000 for 3 years at 11% simple interest per annum and rupees 1000 at 10% compound interest per annum compounded annually for 3 years. Find which investment is better. So this is the question which we will be solving in this video. Now there are two cases in this question. In the first case, man invested rupees 1000 at 11% simple interest. And in the second case, man invested rupees 1000 at 10% compound interest. Time period is same in both the cases that is 3 years. So you can see over here the principal remains the same in both the cases that is rupees 1000. Time period is same, that is N is same 3 years and there are two cases, one is the 11% simple interest and the second case is 10% compound interest. Now let's start with the solution. First of all, let us start with first case where man invested rupees 1000 at 11% simple interest per annum. So over here principal is rupees 1000, rate of interest is 11%, time period is 3 years. And simple interest formula as we all know is SI is equal to P into R into T upon 100. P is the principal, R is the rate of interest, T is the time period. So accordingly we shall put the values now. So 1000 into 11 into 3 upon 100 which is equal to rupees 330. So simple interest is coming rupees 330. Now further let's solve the second case where man invested rupees 1000 at 10% compound interest per annum. So over here again the principal is rupees 1000, rate of interest is 10% and time period is 3 years. Compound interest formula is CI is equal to P in bracket 1 plus R upon 100 whole raised to power N minus 1. Now we shall put the values. P is the principal that is rupees 1000 in bracket 1 plus r upon 100 r is the rate of interest that is 10 percent so we shall write 10 upon 100 whole raised to power 3 because n is 3 years and minus 1 now further 0 and 0 will stand cancel and we shall take lcm so we shall write 1000 in bracket 11 by 10 whole cube minus 1 now 11 cube is 1331 and 10 cube is 1000 so accordingly we can write 1000 in bracket 1331 upon 1000 minus 1. Now further we shall take LCM. So 1000 in bracket 1331 minus 1000 upon 1000 which is equal to 1000 into 331 upon 1000. Now 1000 and 1000 will stand cancel and we shall get 331 as the compound interest. So compound interest is coming rupees 331. Now further Case 1 we have solved and simple interest we have got rupees 330 and case 2 we have got compound interest as rupees 331. So the difference between the two is 331 minus 330 which is equal to rupees 1. So clearly we can say that compound interest investment is better than simple interest investment by rupee 1. So that's it. Hope you have understood the question where we had to find which investment was better, either the simple interest or the compound interest. Please do like and subscribe my channel. Thank you everyone. Have a wonderful day ahead.